Because she can't keep starving the man. Honestly, she can't keep starving the man. You refusing sex to your husband is like you refusing air to a human being who needs air to breathe. A lot of people are going through relationship problems and are finding it hard to get solutions. In this series, we asked our audience to share their relationship issues with us and receive advice from other people. She told me we couldn't have sex before marriage, and I agreed. We dated for three years without sex. I didn't cheat. She was the only one I had. After our wedding, it took me several days of trying before she allowed sex. As I write this, each day when I want sex, I have to coerce her for several hours before she finally gives in. She said she didn't marry because of sex, so I can't come and kill her with sex. What options do I have? Currently, I'm being tempted to cheat on her. <laughs> Very interesting. People are socialized in the way and it will take some time for how they are socialized to be broken. I think your current wife was socialized in a way to think of sex as a chore and it would take some doing. I don't think your counselors, when you went for your marriage counseling, did you um, a good service because they should have been able to counsel you people to understand that sex is part and parcel of marriage. One other thing too I will also want to suggest to you is this. Don't just bring up sex when you want it. When it comes to sex, men, we are more or less like switches. We can switch it on and off, but women need a little bit of doing before they get in that headspace for sex. I heard it said that if you want to wake love to your wife, you start from the morning. So from the very onset, you start preparing her mind. Send her messages, call her, treat her like you would your, 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 your girlfriend. Take her, her out to somewhere romantic. Speak to her mind, speak to her emotions. And I believe at the end of the day, you are, you are going to be, it's going to work out fine. This is... This hits home for me because I'm currently celibate and practicing. And I understand where he's coming from having to wait all this while before enjoying, shall I say, his, his wife. Kudos to them for that. However, with their wives, shall I say, difficulty or low libido, the best way would be to actually have an open conversation with it. I believe she might be facing certain challenges, which is the reason why she is not feeling for sex at this moment. So the best is to have an open conversation. What are some of the challenges she's facing? And it shouldn't be a conversation where he's being judgmental or trying to react instead of respond. It should be from a genuine place where he believes that he's listening to his wife and trying to find solutions to the problem. I believe mean, these are two matured individuals who understand the reason why they are coming together as one. So if something is imbalanced, like sex, which is actually very important, it's not the most important, but it's very important in their marriage life, I believe the best thing they could do is to have a sit down, find out what her challenges are, then afterwards seek post-marriage counseling. She could actually be facing issues maybe related to past trauma, sexually, or something, which is now coming to bear or now come to the surface. So I believe the best thing she should do is try and also reorient herself. The woman also has to take a seat back and also understand why she's going through these things and how best she can overcome them. Because she can't keep starving the man. Honestly, she can't keep starving the man. So it's best she opens up to her husband and, shall I say, gives him like clarity on why she's going through these things that they can find a better solution.